Good morning. It's Friday, February 19th. 19th. You're with, 19th. Heidi. You're with Heidi and Colette. Of course, this says Thursday, February I didn't 18th. even get to that part. Um, <clears throat> we had our bums in the seat, I don't know, 15 seconds ago with yeah. no microphones. Oops, I guess we need mics so you can hear us. Okay, inhale, exhale. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. <laughs> oh my God, okay. We want to talk about this snowstorm that's going on in Texas. <laughs> I read Yes. You sent me the funniest little article last night. We had a little well, I, I'm sure, you know, it's, it's well, it's funny to us because we're like, yeah. snow. <clears throat> yes, we always, but, you know, it's, it's significant down there. So what I'm about to share with you is not intended to make light of anything. And if anybody gets upset, I'm blaming it on my cousin Elijah because he sent it to me last okay. night. Way to go, Elijah. So, as we know, there have been some mm -hmm. significant accumulations for Texas yes. um, reported, and they're having some, well, it's it's really quite a desperate situation. It is. Yeah, for um, sure. So, in the midst of the chaos, <laughs> the Texas mayor has quit. Oh, well. <laughs> After saying only the strong will survive. Guess he's not that strong. And this isn't the mayor of Texas. It's a small town in Texas. <laughs> but he has resigned after melting down on Facebook. And this is, I'm reading directly from the article. After melting down on Facebook on Tuesday when he called for lazy locals to fend for themselves amid deadly snowstorm and power outages across the state. Yeah. Can I say the quote? I, I'm still kind of I learning say, the go boundaries. For it. Okay, so this is an actual quote. This isn't me commenting. This is an actual quote. Quit crying and looking for a handout. Oh, get off your. Can I say? Yes, I think you can. Okay, get off your ass and take <laughs> care of your own family, wrote Tim Boyd, the then mayor of then. Colorado <laughs> City, Texas, in the city's Facebook group. Wow. Boyd declared in the Tuesday morning post that he was about to hurt some feelings and then went on to rip anyone who might need help during the snowstorm, which left millions without power and resulted in at least 21 deaths across the southern U.S. So, wow, that's hilarious. you know, that's some tough words, some I, I can't even say that's tough love. That's, that's just tough. That's just being um, You know, and certainly there must be a, a lot of pressure. So uh, I, I really, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm simply not going to comment. I think it would be apolitical to do so. <laughs> well, like, just calm down. I mean, you and I in the morning, sometimes we're a little rushed, but do we look rushed? No, hey, we're, we're calm. what you do is you go out and you buy the tools that you need to survive. Absolutely. Like the cover for my windshield. And we are going to make sure that that mayor gets that cover, or at least the link to it. But we have some funny video of, again, we're not making fun of, well, I don't know. So if they don't have any, you know, tools to shovel the snow, what are they doing? I don't know, Mike, why don't you show us what they're doing? Yeah, so oh. this is a table. Now, <laughs> so typically we use this, you know, like Christmas time when you have those extra family members coming out, but quite ingenious. Look at this part. Of, well, every, <laughs> now what do I do? <laughs> Make a snow angel dolly. People in Texas be like, how do I shovel snow? And I've not, heard about this well, substance you call snow. I don't, <laughs> Too sure. I have heard much of this substance. But I'm not understanding, but okay, <laughs> that's all right. At least they're trying. And quite honestly, is it that a lot of snow? Wow, right? look at her hair. Yeah. Oh my God, that's how I look like this morning. Now imagine, like, what is what is the average temperature? In Texas, oh my like, goodness, that is hilarious. I don't know, but we will have that. But, wow. uh, but further to that, and I know that you were dad so upset to what I'm about to say, but the Dallas Stars, they couldn't even play hockey. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Wow, and now, then, now that is news. That's I know, and I, Heidi called me, she's like, what am I going to do? There's no if a mayor anymore. wasn't quitting before then, like really after <laughs> that. Like. And the Mavericks and Rockets, they, they postponed their game tonight due to the snowstorm. So, well, I guess there's no sports for you, but maybe, uh, you know, I actually kind of found that table one quite funny. It's cute, eh? Well, you know what? I, necessity is the mother of all invention i think that's how the quote goes and certainly <laughs> that was uh yes that was a necessary <laughs> invention so good for you table jeep guy <laughs> we girl have lady <laughs> person lady, person individual <laughs> we do have some photos of the day but we're going to skip to some news first because we had to share those i mean that's well, quite funny but you mike's know. being bossy and mike's like go to the news go don't share the photo of the, the day you're not bossy. Mm -hmm. No, you're you're strongly suggestive. Yes, he is. Now we do. Heidi, you are a point to shen point person. That's right. <laughs> so That's point right. Away. Point um, away. 
So, you know, pursuant to my, you know, what I, I felt would probably happen given the number of people that have accessed that park over the years, yeah. um, there is, of course, a petition. Um, and from what I'm understanding from this article, uh, that, but you know, Dan uh, has been very thorough. Yes, what has. I'm understanding from this article is that so far, the petition has been largely ignored. Um, mm -hmm. Sault Ste. Marie doesn't appear to have a policy in regards to how petitions are dealt with by City Hall. Mm -hmm. um, so that is the discovery that was made when trying to figure out how the petition for part of our city mm -hmm. To move to Crown, oh, so he's referencing a separate story. Okay. Um, okay, so we did also report on a story about how uh, Prince Township was looking to separate. Oh, yes. So yes, they're yes, trying yes. to figure out how that made it onto the City Council agenda of February 8th. Yeah. Um, but the petition with regards to Point de Shane, which I might add, when mm -hmm. last checked, was at about 500 signatures, was not officially Ooh, presented to Council, yet was addressed as the first priority in the consent agenda mm, okay so yeah okay I, Malcolm White the CAO of the city uh, took time to come up with a report on the petition and then took time for Mayor Provenzano to address council in the hopes of putting the issue to rest but without any real policy on when and how the petitions are dealt with by the city yeah. the action this action has actually now set a precedent um, as what will be addressed by both the mayor the CAO and council awesome so and there's more on that uh, on the article. Sweet. Now on I do our website. Sorry to interrupt you there, my That's friend. Okay. I do know that also we have posted a should the city reconsider its position on Point de Chen campground. Uh, it's a poll on our website. So oh, there you go. So you yeah. can add your name to yeah. the outcry um, over the loss of, of this uh, this I don't know um, family the resource yeah. Um, yeah. for the summertime. Yes. You know, keeping in mind, and again, I'm going to say that you know Point de Chen, you know collectively has not been closed it is simply losing the overnight, overnight. capacity yeah um, day beach no day park and the beach area will still be open mm -hmm. i wonder if there's something planned to go there instead to make some money you never know oh. you know i'm just throwing that out there on a friday i'm throwing that out there okay we have three and a half minutes according to our wonderful producer so ford yesterday announced that the government extending all emergency orders under the reopening until march the 21st now the interior government has extended all emergency orders under the roa the government made the announcement late thursday afternoon which was probably smart because you know a lot of people were probably on the way home and didn't yeah. want a news outlet well, now you've got us saying it, so eventually it's going to come out, but yesterday he did it well. The extension of the emergency orders does not change the length of how long a region is placed in lockdown. The ROA must be extended every 30 days, and the government must notify the public when they're making these uh, extended orders. Okay. And just further to that, Ford is making um, remarks at 2 o'clock today. We will have that live on suonline.com and our Facebook page, so please join us for that one little announcement yes what yes. else we got i can't even read what my glass is here OPP. that's okay so on the 17th and the 18th you got the uh, opp did lay some charges mm -hmm. um so on february 17th uh, the East Algoma, Ontario Provincial Police were on patrol duties in the community of the Mississauga First Nation. They were conducting a traffic enforcement and shortly after 11.15 a.m. a traffic stop was in fact initiated on Village Road and a query revealed that the vehicle was not insured. So oh. as a result of the investigation, Olivia Stevens, a 45-year-old um, a 45-year-old from Blind River, mm -hmm. was charged with owner-operated <coughs> motor vehicle on a highway contrary to section two of the compulsory automobile insurance act um, so she is scheduled to appear before court of justice in blind river on april 27th okay S uh, second um <laughs> sorry it's the voices in my head I know. <laughs> She's not <laughs> losing it. I had that same voice. Simpatico <laughs> okay. again, though. If only you could hear what I hear, right? <laughs> so, 
Um, also on February 17th, uh, same division of the police, the East Algoma, Ontario Provincial Police were on patrol duties again in the community, or maybe still in the community of the Mississauga First Nation. Yeah. Um, shortly after 11.45, traffic, a traffic stop was initiated on Park Road this time, and a query revealed the driver was suspended. Mm. So as a result of the investigation, Yikes. Jamie Morningstar, 43 years of age, from the Mississauga First Nation, charged with driving while under suspension contrary to section 53 of the Highway Traffic Act. Uh, so Jamie is scheduled to appear okay. um, on April 27th. Hopefully okay. there are no filters of cats. I am not a we cat. We hope there are no filters of cats. I'm, a, I'm not. I am not a cat. I am a human. My mother saw that for the first time. Did yesterday. she love it? <laughs> she couldn't believe it. So <laughs> new. So new to the internet. Okay. Before we throw to our Craig. We want to talk a little bit, I mean, I read this book growing up. I know there's been movies coming out, but Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Again, another Johnny Depp. I love Johnny Depp. Let me tell you about this, what's going on. The I love Gene Wilder. Never mind Johnny Depp. Gene Wilder. I love Gene Wilder. Anyways, we'll get back to that later. All right. <laughs> All right. We're off the script. Willy Wonka. Sorry, Mike. Willy Wonka inspired Great American Treasure Hunt will take place in the Upper Peninsula in June. The hunt by Michigan-based Johnny's Treasures Quest. It's for $100,000 $100, in gold and silver. Wow. The only way to participate is to find a silver ticket in a chocolate bar. There are 400,000 chocolate bars and 10 tickets. So ooh, odds are, you know, whatever. Not so that great. just like the movie. Right. The Look. bars are on sale through the Johnny's Treasure Quest website for $10 each, courtesy of Johnny's Treasure Quest. That is a tongue twister. Who is website? that Johnny guy? What's his I name? I don't know. Johnny. I don't he looked very enigmatic. You see him sort of like, <laughs> I you know, mm, I am magical. I am Will. Willy Wonka, right? <laughs> so. Those who find tickets will receive a 10 ounce silver bar worth more than 200 bucks. A six night all expense paid, that includes your food, lodging and transportation, trip for two to the Upper Peninsula area, and an invitation to compete in the hunt for $100,000 in gold and silver bouillon. The teens will be followed bouillon. by film crew to document their ventures. <laughs> bouillon, not bouillon. just what you put no. in your soup. It's not what you put in your soup, that's right. We saw that maybe with John, George Clooney, pretty good. Uh, okay, Mr. Kleger in the box, what's going mm -hmm. on this oh, weekend I'm for weather? Never in my box right now. Okay, wait, come there. There you go. Center yourself. <laughs> your yeah. goal should be to think outside of the box. I know, I know. Ah. I'm trying to get out of this box. <laughs> Quote of the day, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> We're having a, a bad day today. It's going to be kind of cloudy. May see some sun. We may see some flurries, but temperatures uh, not bad. So you've so, covered your bases. Yeah, I, I did. I covered my bases. Uh, Wawa <laughs> is getting some snow squalls today. They can see another 10 centimeters. But let's take a look Wawa. outside here in the Sioux. It's not looking bad. It's a beautiful shot downtown. What are you laughing at? <laughs> Wawa. Wawa. <laughs> uh, we have a, not bad conditions right now. <laughs> I'm trying to talk I'm here. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. It's Friday. It is Friday. We have your weather forecast coming up. Way to go, Craig. <laughs> Sault Ste. Marie locations. You do life, we do taxes. COVID-19 <laughs> is a serious health threat. When you touch things like gas pumps, door handles, or someone else's cell phone, you can spread the virus even if you don't have symptoms. Don't put lives at risk. Wash your hands. Stay two meters apart. That's a distance of two arms lengths. And if you're sick, stay home to save lives. A message from the Government of Canada. Oh, my teeth. <laughs> 
Good morning and welcome back to First Local Mornings uh, here on Friday, February the 19th, <laughs> which is not what I have on the agenda in front of me. But I just like to keep you on your toes. Fortunately, I am, I am this close to being fully caffeinated. You know, imagine if I was at full power. I thought she was. But <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, then I might actually have a filter and we wouldn't get good times like wah, wah. Maybe I should bring in some really heavy duty coffee. <laughs> yes, yes. Maybe some Baileys for my co host, please. Yes. You know, <laughs> a little IV drip, I can come in here and be like, okay, yeah, that's a good right, idea. All right, now I'm going to be somewhat normal. <laughs> well, anyway, we're going to go right to social media okay. um, on the heels of normal. Um, so we've got people watching. Oh, so good, good morning to you. Um, <laughs> Vino, 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 oh. Vino. What is it? V is it Vino? V A I N O. I apologize. Okay. Please give me a phonetic spelling so that I know how to say your name. That is a thing with me. I like to make sure I get the names right. Yes. It's important. It's your name. I believe that was a at wah, wah, wah. Sorry. <laughs> wah, wah. Had to say. Um, at any rate, good morning <laughs> to you and thank you so much for watching. Jason, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Jason. Uh, Giselle, good Friday, everyone. Have a great weekend. You too, Giselle. You too, Giselle. Uh, Margaret, good morning to all um, your parents. Good morning, Mommy, good morning, Daddy. Um, Kathy, good morning, ladies and gents. Have a great Friday. Eh? You too, Kathy. Yeah. <laughs> Take off, eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Heck out of here, um, Susan. So, yes, Tristan, good morning, Bestie. <gasps> Tristan Tremblay, is that our little weatherman? Is that, my little, okay, okay. That is our Tristan. Good uh, morning, buddy. I'm glad you're watching, morning, and I hope Tristan. you have an awesome weekend. I didn't know who you were when you you oh. added me on Instagram, so I'll oh, uh, I'll go back. And, oh, oh I've got a correction. Vano. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Bradley. Good morning. With three exclamation points Ooh. and an emoji. <gasps> Kimberly. Wow. Now you've got competition. Oh, yes. Yep. Anybody can toss out three exclamation points. Yep. But who's going to wield the wily emoji? Is it a poop emoji? No, it's not oh, a poop just emoji. I'm just it's wondering. a smiler. <laughs> <Who's gonna laughs> poop emojis are for Mondays. Everybody right. oh, knows yeah, that's that. True too. <laughs> Get some <laughs> etiquette. What? <laughs> what? What's that? Uh, Kimberly, good morning and happy Friday, ladies. So yes, the three exclamation points, but now I'm becoming blase. Oh, no, I mean, like, no. Whatever. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. whatever. <laughs> wah, wah. Now I'm going to start snorting too. Fantastic. Yes. Craig, good morning. Okay, Craig, now you're just trying to mess with me, right? Craig Huckerby just said that? Well, he's <laughs> posting, you know, probably from his box of isolation. Somebody take his phone away. He is outside the box right now, thinking outside the box. Mark <laughs> has added two emojis one what? appears to be a girl with with pigtails the other is a a smiling pink face oh, i nice. thank you well, yes. I'll explain this later. Oh, really? Is that a thing? <laughs> it's not. A, it shouldn't be a thing, but it is a thing today. Okay. Okay. Darla, happy Friday, hey, everyone. Darla. She's got two emojis. One is upside down and smiling. Very cute. Like One is right side too and smiling. Nice. Very cute. And Darla says, mmm, chocolate. Chocolate Willy Wonka, right? Oh, right. Yes. I'm, <laughs> I got you. I got you, Darla. See what I did there? I got you. <laughs> and Mark is back with its Funkenstein. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's, yeah, that's young Frankenstein, yes. right? Sorry. Frankenstein. Yes. Frankenstein. Okay, what great knockers. Anyway, um, Jim, bon matin, ladies, bon matin, Jim. Comment ça va aujourd'hui? <laughs> Nicole, good morning, everyone. A morning. wonderful Friday to all. Yes, I think it's going to be a nice weekend and, and yeah, uh, a is. decent Friday so far. Yep. Um, Mark, again, it's Frankenstein. Yes, <laughs> yes, Mark, we got it. <laughs> Carl, happy Friday, all. Happy Friday, Carl. Hey, Carl. Kathy, what's normal, Heidi? I needs to know, right? If you come up with any kind of a definition, Kathy, please do send that my way because I, atypical kind of is my go-to these days. So, <laughs> oh, it was Darla giving us the correction of the uh, the pronunciation oh, of thanks, the name. Darla. They know. Thank you, Darla. Oh, oh, oh. Uh -oh. oh Kimberly has come back with She's emoji a city. whack of emojis awesome now. Sauce. We've got smiles. We've got. 
um, the red balloon, which always kind of reminds me of it. it. So that kind of chills me a little, but that. it's not what she intends. No, a like thumbs up and a glass of wine. <laughs> oh, you're speaking uh, yes. our language. Yes. Sure, right, all right. Say again, what? We have to. I, is there is there like a weather emoji on there or anything No like weather that? emoji. Uh, well, Craig is our emoji. He's right. uh, one of those moving emojis. Yeah, he is. Now he says he's an he, avatar. He, he's he's an avatar. <laughs> he's the sun. He's a cloud. He's a rain. He's a snow emoji. Because I don't think he wants to be wrong. But well, let's find out what he has to say. He's a cover in his bases. He is. Thank you very much. Well, we have a cloudy day today. Uh, maybe some flurries, but temperatures are on the, uh, well, we're warming up a little bit. Minus four should be our daytime high today. Again, overdoing on the flurries today. They're going to be light if we see any. Most of those are going to hold back until later on tonight. And again, we may even see some sun today. But here is the daytime highs around the horn. Minus four is here for the Sioux and Mackinac. Minus six in Sudbury, minus seven in Timmins, so we're all on that lower uh, uh, single digit uh, mark right now. So let's take a look at the satellite shot. And again, we don't have a lot happening here. It's all going around. If you want winter weather, you've got to head to the eastern seaboard where they're getting dumped on with uh, a lot of snow and some uh, freezing rain and rain. Here we have high pressure in, this, in the area. Again, doesn't mean we're not going to see uh, some clouds roll over the lake and those clouds could have some light flurries in them, but nothing really substantial. Watching these systems coming in for the weekend. So this is the systems map. We'll draw it out for you again. So we have high pressure here. This is that big storm hitting the eastern seaboard. Couple more storms out to the west. We're watching these three here as this high pressure breaks down over the weekend, they're going to kind of scoot in and give us some weather for Monday. Looks like snow at this point. But temperatures actually going on the plus side next week. So let's take a look at your three day. Starting with your day Saturday, start of the weekend, mix of sun and cloud. Again, we could see some flurries in the morning. Those should clear out. Temperatures uh, minus three, not bad. Minus three for Sunday. Again, mix of sun and cloud. Going to have some snow start late Sunday, lasting over Sunday night into Monday morning. But look at the temperatures. We're on the plus side for Monday, and we also increase as we go out through the week next week. So that's looking pretty good. Your seven day forecast is coming up. Heidi and Colette are standing by with more of the show right after this. Is going to a party really worth it? Putting yourself at risk puts everyone at risk. Help limit the spread of COVID-19. Have you been drinking more than usual? Why not go dry this February? With Dry Feb, you'll help people affected by cancer. And you can also reduce your own risk. Go as dry as you're willing to try. Sign up today. It's easier than you think. We are back with the midst of a paper bomb, but whatever. That's just because we want to keep things organized and scheduled. You're with Heidi and Colette on the, what was that date again today, Heidi? I don't know. I'm just kind of looking like, look at you. Yeah. And here I am. I know. Here. Friday, February the 19th. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know. I should just throw them up like a paper bomb. Okay. COVID numbers. We just want to talk a little bit about COVID right now. Um, wanted to let you know that there is a single new confirmed case of COVID-19 in Elliott Lake area. This is case number, what does that say, 194. They were tested on Valentine's Day. They are self-isolating exposure unknown. And currently in Algoma, I believe we're only at 10 active cases. So that is upsetting news that there is another case. Great news that there's only 10. And uh, yesterday, Ontario reported 1,038, which is unfortunate because the day before we were about 870 eight something, which is under the 1,000, uh, was a, under the low of 1,000. But we're back up again. Now, co co now COVID. I'm, I just called you COVID. You know, which, which is interesting. Yeah, COVID, whatever. I, I've been called worse, so that's fine. That's um, awful. <laughs> What's interesting, though, is a, a few days ago, I did see uh, <clears throat> on the Globe and Mail yeah. um, that 
they were recognizing <coughs> they mm -hmm. you know the people who count they were recognizing yeah. that the rate of infection the rate of COVID-19 infection globally has decreased significantly like to the tune of about yeah. you know one article one source said about 50 percent another source said 64 percent regardless um, that's a significant drop yeah. and they're they're scrambling because you know of course the people who count want to be able to define they want to describe they want to be able to allocate information as to why so far they've got nothing they yeah, have no idea what's happening yeah. or why um, many theories you know maybe it's just you know the seasonal uh, ebb and flow of a coronavirus um, some others are saying that um, you know it, it's just it's just the way it is I, yeah. I, I don't know they, there's no answer but to me that's still you know that's obviously it's a positive it is you know, a positive all we sure. do is report on cases going up and people getting tested on Valentine's Day after consuming Assuming candy KD, I have no doubt. Uh, remember that? That would lower, lower your resistance, right? right? Baby, I made you some Absolutely. pink KD. Still cheesy, but a little <laughs> bit sweet, too, just like me. Return of the mat. A <laughs> um, couple more things that we want to let you know. Ontario is adding an extra critical bed critical care bed in Sault Ste. Marie, uh, Sault Ste. Hospital. Oh, good. We yeah. posted that yesterday. That's good. That's to help alleviate hospital pressure and uh, support the intensive care unit. We do have a couple local stories. I want to talk about this Brookfield Market coming down. I want to talk about uh. the Peewee starting back up. You've got some stories, but we got to get over to Craigers for the seven day. Let's go, Craig. Uh -oh. Come on. Where is he? Come on. Let's go. I don't know where I am. There, oh, there I am. There's Waldo. I mean, <laughs> Craiger. <laughs> By the way, I just want to say a shout out to the city for doing those paths at Queen Elizabeth Park. They've made paths all the way around the park, and it's just great for walking what? at night, by the way. And if you like walking, we're going to have some nice temperatures and some nice weather coming our way. But in the seven day, we look at plus temperatures coming up next week. And we also have some rain, and we also have maybe some flurries, but a good amount of sun and clouds. So I, I, once again, I've covered all my bases. <laughs> I don't know, day. like a meteorologist, right? Like Just the easiest read. job I'm a presenter, world, really. I'm not a meteorologist. Oh, well, oh like I, I Oh, sorry, oh, excuse me. Oh, jeez, Louise. You know? I mean, we have to have facts here. Oh, no, I, I know. You know, so far it's cloudy with a chance of sun. <laughs> we might see some precipitation. Could be snow, might be rain, might be wet snow. You're doing weather sure. next. He's a plethora of emojis. <laughs> Anyways, let's go over to Tim Hortons, Heidi. What's going on? Tesla is getting a Tim Hortons. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> yes. There will be upcoming job fairs, plural in support of oh, the cool. Tim Hortons Thessalon location. Uh, the Algoma District will soon be home to a new Tim Hortons located in the town of Thessalon. So I want to know Sweet. if they're going to be on the highway portion where yeah. they bypass or if you're going to have to drive right <laughs> into Thessalon. I think it's going to be inside the OPP. Say it. I don't know. But when they're okay. building when they come into Thessalon. Building says our ear. So you don't actually have to choose. They're going to put it right on that little point where you kind of, okay, well. you know, red pill, blue pill, left, right. Where are you going? <laughs> you're driving by, you're going in. That's hilarious. Oh, Aneki, good morning. Good morning, morning Aneki. Aneki. Joseph, Joseph, who is working on solving a problem for me at, at oh. Maker North, even as we speak. Awesome. My little is uh, struggling with the masks, so I want a Darth oh, Vader thing okay. for her. All yeah. right, Mike's yelling in her ear with 45 seconds. Let's, I know. Let's talk about Brookfield Market. Okay. Um, apparently, there was, not apparently, there was this market here, Brookfield Market, uh, was the go-to corner store for thousands of residents in the area of Roosevelt Avenue, 2nd Line West, Borden. Uh, for about 80 years, the store has been closed for some time. Um, many will remember the visiting the store, as with most communities, the locally owned corner store have all but vanished due to more convenience stores into town, and um, that came down yesterday, so that's upsetting. And if you have little ones like I do, he's so excited. He's going to play hockey. The Pee Wee is open. Uh, go to the Pee Wee website. Check your new schedule. Heidi, quick, 15 go. seconds. Northern Credit Union has announced the consolidation of seven branches. Seven branches. Oh, wow. And you will have noticed the significant jump in gas prices yesterday. What? Highest it's been in 12 months. Have a great weekend. Enjoy. Woo, we did it.